This video will highlight the new slab deflections feature within Tecla Structural Designer 2018. A rigorous slab deflection estimate requires an initial design of the slab panel and patches so that slab properties and reinforcement areas are known. The slab properties are defined in the properties window for the selected slab. A new slab deflection ribbon controls the workflow for slab deflection. Model options control deflection limits, creep and shrinkage parameters, modification factors and iterative cracked section analysis convergence parameters. Slab event sequences allow the engineer to define the events to be considered. For example at event 1, the slab formwork is removed and the slab back propped. At event 2, the slab above is propped on the slab and cast. The wet weight of the slab above has been accounted for by including an additional 60% of the slab load from above, to this slab. You could also create your own propping load case and include in the event. This event could cause cracking in the concrete which will carry forward into future events. A custom event sequence for the roof has been created as it is not subjected to any propping loads. These slab event sequences are applied to the respective slab sub-model. You can choose to analyze all, a current or selected slab. Analysis is amazingly quick, allowing value engineering to be performed, since everything is managed within one model. Once the analysis has completed, contour results for deflections can be displayed. The structure slab deflection results view is unique, in that it shows the results of each individual slabs for its associated slab event sequence. It should be borne in mind that this is not a construction sequence. The deflections can be total results after a specified event, differential results between two events and instantaneous deflections for an event. Hovering over any FE node provides a tooltip with useful details. Extent of cracking results can be displayed for any selected event. This displays the extent of cracking for each FE element. It may be cracked in one direction but not in the other. Relative stiffness can be displayed after a specified event for different result directions. The reinforcement used is displayed for each direction. A composite modulus calculation can be exported to Excel to review the underlying calculations if you wish. We will concentrate on a rigorous deflection assessment for the first floor level. As previously mentioned, contours allow deflections to be reviewed. What is the critical deflection for a span over limit, when the span varies for irregular slabs? Rather than reviewing deflection contours manually to undertake deflection checks, Tecla Structural Designer introduces check lines that will automatically check average slopes between points of minimum and maximum deflection. Check lines are created in two deep plan views. A catalog of total, differential or instantaneous deflection checks can be created. These can be applied to check lines. Up to six checks can be assigned to a check line and the default values are taken from the catalog. Place check lines interactively where you wish to undertake deflection checks. Check lines can be moved and deleted. You can view deflections along the check lines. You can see a more detailed deflected shape by opening a deflections check view. This shows the maximum and minimum values and the deflection check between these points in terms of a slope ratio. You can view the status and utilization of check lines. Check lines are associated to slabs so you can also see the status of the slab deflection. If a check line crosses a slab and fails then the slab fails. If no check line crosses a slab then the slab deflection status is unknown. If all check lines crossing a slab pass then the slab passes. The worst check line utilization associated with a slab is then the slab utilization. Check line reports can be generated on a member or model level. Based on the deflection fail status or a low utilization, any input parameter can be adjusted to optimize the results. A slab reinforcement command allows quick amendment of reinforcement. Here we will increase the area of tension reinforcement on the cantilever slab to improve the deflection result.
check lines are automatically updated. Note the enhancement to the utilization ratio. Let us now consider the roof level, add some check lines and review the status and utilization. As well as adding reinforcement, as you saw earlier, you may also consider editing events or other input parameters. We will increase the slab thickness on the roof level. As you have seen, following a redesign or check, existing check lines are automatically updated to reflect any optimizations made. Views can be saved showing check lines and their references. A model report can then be generated displaying the view along with the check line status. As you have seen from the above example, analysis is amazingly quick, allowing value engineering to be performed since everything is managed within one model.